Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker back with more Fighters Impact. I don't know why I paused there for a moment, but uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I've been doing this a lot, but whatever, you know? <laughs> Anyways, before we go on to our next character, uh, Mr. Sampson here, I'm going to first read just Celine's story because, you know, we didn't hear about her yet. And she was the first person that we played. I don't know why I started speaking like that, but whatever. Celine, she is a secret agent, codenamed Medusa. She suppresses all emotions and never flinches in the most difficult situations. A comrade of hers was killed during an investigation, and she takes over the mission. That's all she has. So she's like basically, you know, angry, cold, calculated, blonde. Hey, this sounds familiar with all the other tropes that we have. But, right now though, we are going with Mr. Samson! Because Celine had her glory when I first started doing this one and I wasn't sure if it was going to be a long play. Anyways, Samson, he is... Uh... I can't read. Okay. From a reputable family, he participated in championships on the day of the murders, but was not in the practice halls. The soul's, he was the sole survivor of the disaster. And he looks pretty chill about the whole thing, too. Uh, apparently, he's age 21, and his occupation is a student. So let's get this started. I think he's also the Bishonin of the group. <laughs> one thing that I want to point out with this game, which, you know, I one thing, yeah, it's just something that I couldn't put my finger on, on the tone of the game. Then I realized it has a bit of a somber, sad tone. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, the soundtrack or something, but it's just interesting, though. That, like, you know, you know, it's supposed to be fun in that, but at the same time, you just kind of feel like a little, huh, after it. Oh, jeez. Hooray, physics! Holy shit. Wow, oh, that's getting me hyped up for uh, Tekken 3 now, because uh, I played uh, Harang a lot in Tekken 3. Uh, him and Eddie and Anna were like my top three in that one. Ooh, I can't wait to play Tekken 3 to be honest with you. Ah! Uh, Tag's gonna be the most like difficult one to finish. Uh, only because I know it's gonna have like disgusting amounts of characters. <laughs> Especially Tekken Tag Tournament 2. <laughs> oh hell, even T6 will have like... Oh, boom! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, okay, Taekwondo is pretty OP in this game. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Don't get too attached to <gasps> He's speaking Korean, isn't he? That's awesome! Ah! Haven't heard that since Tekken Tag Tournament. <laughs> I just always like it in a game where they have like people from different nationalities and they're actually speaking the language that, from where they're from. I just always like that. It's cool, and it's a good feature that's not featured enough. <laughs> you know, it's just the simplest feature, too, really, when you think about it. Like, goddamn. <laughs> oh, I hop back for a moment. My, my combo is like, you know, you reset. Samson, buddy, Bibi, get up. You're pretty OP. I like you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Shiro, I know you're like got main character syndrome. I'm like fucking soul survivor, BB. You're not, you're just like, you know, you're guy. Ooh, I'm the main character. I'm featured prominently on the cover. Well, you know what? I stomped on your head, what do you like of it? I ask you, is it true you seek or chaos? And like even that woman's voice that's in there, like, about the somber tome. Everything about it's just so somber and kind of sad, really. Oh, hoy hoy makes me sad, but, you know. My issues with this guy. Oh, I love those kicks. Holy shit. That's sweet. I honestly wonder if I get, like, perfect victory if I get actually out of something out of it, like an ending or something. Because I realized I did not have a perfect run in this game at all during this play. So I'm really curious, actually. It's also strange that this uh, game does take place during the 70s. It's weird. <laughs> Come on, hoy hoy. Mr. Heart Nipples, I got ya. Erotic pineapple. 
depressing erotic pineapple. <laughs> okay, I'll just hop back for a moment and think about what I've done with my life. Ugh. Come on, come on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I lost due to a timeout. Oh god, don't shake like- honey, no. God, I lost. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the Taekwondo style though because I actually like how that controls quite a bit. Yeah, let's see if I can change this costume. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I don't know if it's just punch and kick that does it because I know that Square and X do dick all in this game. <laughs> Two button fighting game, but you know what? It does it well. Oh, got him as default with the little tight shorts. Oh, that was a sweet combo. I'm glad it hit. <laughs> that made me very happy. Oh, oh, he just had to do his, like, handsome stance. Nice. I'm the sole survivor, because I slept in. What about it, hoy hoy? What about it, BB? Like, that's the only explanation if he's the sole survivor, because if it was, like, someone distracted him, then that other person's also the sole survivor, you know? Yeah. He's just like, I don't care if I'm the sole survivor, I'm fucking hot, deal with it. I don't have hearts for nipples like you, hoi hoi. Though I should try it out, because it's pretty hot. <laughs> oh shit, it's Mock. Oh, hi Mock. I'm here to kick you in the face, I hope that's okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm glad though that there's no one in this game called Johnny or Lisa, because then I would be making so many room jokes. And it would be so obnoxious. <laughs> ah, come on. Kick. Punch. It's all in the mind. If you want to test me, I'm sure you'll find. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, some parts of Parappa the Rapper just stick with you forever. It's Samson. Remember the name. <laughs> oh, I just heard him say it's Samson. Remember the name. Oh, uh, is he not speaking Korean then? I have the volume down really low. I really can't hear. I, I admit. <laughs> when I hear editing, I'm gonna feel pretty stupid after that comment about like, oh, they should speak their languages more. Hey, Bernard speaks German though. Like a very uh, derpy version of it. Or <laughs> is what someone in the comments said. Uh, <laughs> German Jar Jar. <laughs> Which I love. <laughs> ah, come on. Ah, come on. Come on, come on. Kumate, kumate. Uh. Oh my god, no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, what did I say there? I'm gonna have to listen to this more when I edit. <laughs> Both my cats are now nearby me, watching me yell into a microphone. It is wonderful. That is the uh, key to happiness. Cats judging you from afar. They're wonderful animals, and I don't care what anyone says, okay? I also like dogs, don't get me wrong. I just, my life does not call for one, though, because I am a busy person. And it would be very unfair to the pupper schnup, so. Kitties it is, because cats are pretty independent. <laughs> I mean, granted, if I had a house, I would consider getting a dog. Come on, Hornet. Come on, you don't like my feet. It's my feet. <laughs> No! 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 I will not be near the edge. I'm gonna kick you with my feet. Punch you in the face. And... Fucking flipped over my dumb ass. Oh, and a clothesline from behind. Hornet wins the championship! Hornet wins the championship! <laughs> championship! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, okay, Samson. Come on, BB. You can do this. Okay, I hit start that time, because it only lets you choose select or start, so. Does that change the costume? Ooh, I wonder. And it changes the costume. I'm now back to Fancy Pants Bondage Disco Man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Your kicks are efficient, sir, but they also get me stuck in the same spot. No! No! <laughs> Hornet, why are you doing this to me, baby? Come on. Is it because I made fun of your voice? I'm sorry, you have a lovely singing voice. I'm sure you could kill it in karaoke, though. Like, real talk. You're probably really great at karaoke. Okay, uh, I wish there was a rotate. <laughs> okay, come 
come on, come on, come on. Ah, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Making Samson into the one-legged wonder. I love it. <laughs> Someday I'll learn the fighting stylings of Samson, the Taekwondo master. The soul survivor. Oh yeah. <laughs> and a punch to the dick to top it off. So bad. <laughs> Samson. Yeah, I have to admit, though, he's modeled rather well considering this is the PS1 era. Like, a lot of these characters are actually really good character models. Because PS1 was very tricky. Oh, it's Dr. Wiz I have to fight myself. He's the only non-playable character unless you're playing, like, the one redid arcade mode. Or, or arcade version, I should say. But I think that one actually took out a lot of shading in that, so it ended up looking worse than the PS1 version or something like that. I don't know, there's an article about it on uh, hard gaming, uh, Hardcore Gaming 101. A as you can see, I got a lot of my uh, point of reference of odd games from there, which is awesome. I have a friend that actually does articles on it, and that's not even a plug for him. <laughs> Though the site is pretty handy when you're trying to learn about strange games. <laughs> Dr. Wiz, I hate you. Okay, come on, Samson. Or do I have to try another fighting style? Should I try another fighting style? I don't know, man. Let's try that one, just because he looks like he's wearing Shawn Michaels' outfit. <laughs> oh my god, Samson's like a uh, Korean Shawn Michaels. That's awesome. I like it. <laughs> oh my god, he totally does look like a bit like him. Daddy. <laughs> just sexy boy, sexy boy, oh, he's not your boy toy, boy toy. Oh, Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> this game makes me very joyful. Oh god, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Dr. Wiz, I don't like you, sir. You use my moves against me and I can't ring you out. <laughs> yeah, Samson's like one of the hardest characters to fight in this game. Real talk. Oh, BB, I love it. I love your Shawn Michaels attire, sir. <laughs> it makes me very happy. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna fight Barzak again, because uh, this guy is just like, you know. Ready? Go. <laughs> I love those codpiece really does make it look like he's wearing assless chaps. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> well, for me it's awesome. I don't know about other people. <laughs> Oh, I think I should have stuck with Taekwondo. Though, I didn't get the Shawn Michaels outfit with Taekwondo. But also, the stance, like, from behind makes it look like he can't- he's, like, trying to go to the washroom. Like, when I back up, I'll show you. I look. Ah, oh, shit, I can't. Barza, just attack me. Eh, go kick me. Anyways. No! How'd he get that throw from back there? Oh, that's not fair. That's a boss tactic if I've ever seen one. Cheap bitch. It really, Samson is walking like he has to go to the bathroom really bad in the stance. I think Taekwondo would be way better for him. Oh, I won. Never mind. <laughs> Yay. It, it, that angle, Samson's head looked like it just turned around and it got like broken and shit. Ugh. Samson. Why? Anyways, I know it's pronounced Sam Samson, not Samson, but whatever. <sighs> that was his playthrough. Um, that was weird. <laughs> and then we're gonna get to the boss characters, which I know absolutely nothing about because there's no write-ups on them, so... <sighs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> I can make up stories for them, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on this edition of Fighters Impact. Till the next episode, see y'all later. Bye now.